Hello and welcome to our number talk. Today we are looking at the expression 35 plus 48. What we do in a number talk is we use mental math. That means no paper, no pencil to try to solve an expression and then we come back together to try to explore all the different ways we could have figured it out. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and do that. Pause the video, work out 35 plus 48 in your head. When you have your solution, unpause the video. We'll look at all of our strategies together. So the first thing we could have done is to use our associative property to make tens. Now the associative property is the grouping property that lets us take three or more add-ins and shift how we group them so we can add them in different orders. So let's take a look at our first add-in here. We look at 35 and we always think how far away is it from the next 10? And so the next 10 up would be 40. So if I wanted to make a 10, I would need to add one, two, three, four, five more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal these five and I'm going to add them with my first add end right here. So I'm going to take my 35, keep it the same. I'm going to take my second add end and I'm going to break it up into a five, the five that I need for my 35, plus whatever's left over, which happens to be 43. So 35 plus 48 is really just 35 plus 5 plus 43, because 5 plus 43 make 48. And the associative property simply lets me shift the parentheses or regroup it so that my 5 and 43 get added second, because I'm going to first take that 5 and I'm going to add it to my 35. So you notice that my three add-ins stay the same, 35 plus 5 plus 43. I'm just going to add my 35 and 5 first. So I'm going to take these five, add it to these 35, I'm going to get 40. And then I'm going to still have my 43 left over. So 40 plus 43, hopefully you got the answer of 83. So that's how we can use the associative property to make a 10. We can also use the associative property to find some friendly numbers. Now, friendly numbers are numbers that are close to our original numbers that are a lot easier to add with. And anytime you can add with a five, or a zero in the ones place is pretty good. And so this 35 is actually already pretty good. That's easy to add, 35. But that 48 obviously is not that easy. But what if we just took a few off and brought out 45? So I'm gonna take my 35, leave that the same. And I'm gonna break up my 48 into 45 because that's gonna be a lot easier to add and then that three that's left over. We have to still bring that in. So I'm gonna bring my associative property into play and regroup these so that my 35 plus 45 gets added first. And that's pretty easy because I've got my 30 and my 40 is 70, five and five is 10, so that's 80. And I've still got my three left over, but look at that, 80 plus three brings me back up to 83. Now. Many of you might have done this, and this is always a good strategy, is just go straight place value. So you just take the tens first and you add them. So if we're gonna take our 35 plus 48, instead of trying to get really cute and fancy, we'll just break it up by place value. So 35 is really 30 plus five, 48 is really 40 plus eight. And what you wanna do is you wanna add the tens first. Now. In order to do that, we need not only our associative property to regroup it, but we need our commutative property to reorder it. Because the commutative property says that you can take add-ins and you can add them in any order. Five plus eight is the same as eight plus five. So I'm gonna reorder these. I'm gonna bring my 30 and my 40 together. And I'm gonna do that right here, 30 and 40. I'm gonna add that first, that 70. Now I've got my five and my eight left over, five and eight left over, that's 13. So I've got 70 and 13. No regrouping necessary. I can add those together and I'm gonna get my, as always, 83. We can always add up in chunks. This uses the associative property. You take the entire first add end and the tens place of the second add end. So it's kind of like place value, except we're going to keep the first add end together. So my 35 plus 48 gets reimagined here. And I'm going to take my 48 and look at it in place value, 40 plus 8. 
And then I'm going to use my associative property to simply regroup how I add them. So instead of 40 plus 8, I'm going to add my 40 plus my 35 and leave my 8 for whatever's left over. So 35 plus 8 is going to be 75. Add 8. Got to regroup a little bit, but that's fine. It's going to get me back up to my 83. Finally, we can use compensation. Now what compensation does is it actually changes our add-ins. So we take a look at both add-ins. We see which one is closest to the next 10, and it's this 48. I just need two more to get to the next 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal two from my 35. I'm going to completely get rid of them. So that's going to leave me with a new add-in of 33. But I'm not going to just throw them away. I'm going to bring them over here and change my second add-in. So I'm going to add two to my second add-in, and that's going to be 50. So I took two away, added them to the other add-in. So it's still a, a, the same uh, balanced equation because look what happens. I'm going to get 33 plus 50, and 33 plus 50 gets me 83. So those are all the ways that I can think of to find 35 plus 48. If you can come up with another solution, that's fantastic. Go ahead and add that as a comment on the video. Teachers, if you would like a copy of the slide deck for your own use in the classroom, you can find it on my website, 5minutemath.net.